Okay, we're going to take a second look at the Hello World program. So if you remember before, uh, just a simple program within our main function here, we had one output statement, uh, Hello World. Uh, so let's run that, see how it works. Compile and run. And so that output statement uh, just prints a literal string, Hello World, uh, and that's, that's pretty much it. Um, so we want to change this up. Uh, just a little bit uh, and add a variable in here. First we can look at multiple literal strings. Uh, so just like um, in this one we, ha we have two things we're outputting, the literal string hello world and then we got this inline character that we're putting on the end. First let's break this up a little bit more. So uh, I'm gonna add uh, hello as a string by itself um, and then we'll put uh, world uh, alone by itself and we'll put the exclamation point uh, by itself. So essentially we have the same program. Uh, we've written it a little bit different way uh, so that we have now hello world with exclamation point as three separate strings instead of one. Let's run that just to verify it does exactly the same thing. Um, and yeah this is the result, the result we expected. Um, and so we'll go back and the reason I'm doing this, uh, so we're outputting literal strings, I want to look at variables. Um, so uh, first let's uh, create uh, a variable here and it's going to be a character variable uh, called world. Okay. And so what I'm doing by creating a variable, uh, if you picture this as RAM, uh, we're going to have variables that are called by name. Uh, and then the value of that variable stored in RAM. So if you might imagine the statement I just created uh, is just reserving uh, my space over here and it's going to be called world. Anytime I mention world in my program it's going to look up whatever value I have stored uh, over there. So we need a little bit more to our, our, our declaration. Uh, we've got our data type, it's going to be character, it's going to be called world uh, I need a size to it, uh, although right now I'm going to do an automatic size and just say that's equal to uh, USA uh, semicolon. Okay, and so what that does, it's going to assign this value USA to the variable world. Uh, so if we look at uh, our value here, what we've done is place that value USA uh, inside the world variable. So it's almost like a lookup table. Uh, but this represents RAM in the computer or memory uh, that we're using to look up this value. Okay, and we'll see how that benefits us in just a second. Uh, so to use a variable, all we have to do is call it by name. And so I'm going to make a slight change in the program here. Uh, so where I have world here, I'm just going to take off the literal quotes around it. And so I have world now uh, outside of quotes, so, so it's, it's not going to say world anymore. Uh, and so when it sees a variable in this output statement, it's going to look up on the chart, hey, what is world uh, in the chart? So we can go back and it's going to say, oh, there's the, the variable world. The value is USA, and that's what it's going to return. Okay, so let's test that out. Compile and run. And so now our program says hello uh, USA, okay? Um, and we could also change this. Uh, you may see this line uh, a little bit differently. Uh, with the newer standards, uh, we would probably, instead of the equal sign, we could do brace initialization. Um, same thing as saying equal USA, except we're using braces uh, around the quote. Uh, we'll compile that and it does the same thing, but you might see that more now um, since the, it's part of the new standard, uh, our newer standard. Okay, so it does the same thing, just initializes our variable just a little bit differently. So let's go one step further here, and instead of uh, initializing it to this, we can actually use input output uh, to change this up a little bit. So uh, let me get rid of that and we'll just set it equal to 20 so we expect nothing more than 20 characters long uh, and then I'll, I'll do a C out to tell the user what to enter and we'll just tell them 
uh, to the enter the name of the place you live and then to get input and actually store it in the world variable we're going to do a cn statement and put in the world okay and so whatever they type in from the keyboard is going to go into that variable called world uh, and then the next output statement we're going to use whatever they typed in um, as uh, part of the output so let's run that and see how that works and so we get prompted here uh, to enter the name of the place we live so let's put in earth and so we get uh, hello earth as our answer and so you kind of see what variables are doing there whatever we type in for this input statement the CN uh, it's going to store it in that variable and then we're going to recall it uh, in this output statement uh, so we could compile it and run it again and just one more time we'll put in USA again uh, hello USA and so you get the idea uh, variables uh, change so uh, that's why they're named variables so just adding a, f a few more features to our uh, first program here uh, hopefully this gives you a little bit more understanding of variables and uh, I'll see you next time